Hi, I'm Eve. I'm Stu. We are back with another QQ guide to help you to have your best trip. Before I start, uh, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel to not miss any new videos and exciting updates. Today we're going to be talking about how to get cheap flights to the Galapagos mm -hmm. and how to avoid surprisingly expensive fees at the airport. Yeah, because when we were buying our flights, we knew that there are differences between foreigners and locals, but it was not clear uh, which one we should buy, we're allowed. And also we found out how to save money on it. Yeah, so I can hear you saying, but how do I save money, Stu? <laughs> okay, here you go, I'll show you how. So, if you look at LATAM first, so I'm set as United States, I've picked a flight from Quito to Baltra, uh, 23rd of March, and I've picked one way just because it makes it easier for the numbers, and I'm gonna click search. So, I get given my flight options, give me the cheapest one, I want the 8, 10, 8, 11, and I get two flight options. I've got this plus one, top one. Not a lot of difference, it looks like I get two pieces of baggage, and one's $225, one's $252. Okay, fine. Let's try through Google. So I'm going to do a flight from Quito to Baltra, same again, 23rd of March. I've done my search, I've got this same flight, 811. I'm going to click on it. Right, so interestingly, here it tells me this price is only for Ecuador residents only. As I don't have another option for LATAM, I'm going to click on it anyway. And as I've tinkered around with this already, I know that if I click on price and then on flights, I get to see the flight options, which is this same 811. But this time I get given a load of options. So I've got this same one, this top flight that I had before. But I've also got basic light and plus. Now notice that um, at the bottom here, I've got this notice saying, if you're a foreigner, not a resident of Ecuador, then I'm going to have to pay an extra $150 plus VAT at the airport. Um, so basically, if I select any of these options except top, I'm going to pay an extra $170 at the airport each way. So this is, this is just one ticket. So for return, that's going to cost me an extra hundred, well, $340, um, potentially extra. But interestingly, I've got these four options here. And when I go back to the Latin website, I've still got this plus option. But it doesn't tell me that I, I, can't, I can't buy this as a, as a non-Ecuadorian. Um, but it does look like if I, I'm going to get charged if I buy this ticket. So I suggest if you go and buy LATAM to buy the top ticket, unless um, you want to get charged $170 at the airport either or, each way. So looks like the best option. And we have heard many people saying they've been charged at the airport. Now, another thing you can save money on is if you actually go to the LATAM Airlines website and change your location to Ecuador. I'm going to click back to English again. Now here's the magic. So if I do the same again, Quito, Ecuador, Ultra, I'm going to go one way. And I want to go on the 23rd of March. Okay. So the difference here is that I'm basically um, set to be location of Ecuador. I'm going to pick the same flight. And I get these four options again. But notice the price here for this top ticket is $153. Now compare that to the original flight when I selected I was based in America for $252. That's $100 cheaper. Massively cheaper. And it's still cheaper than the Google flights, which is also cheaper, but $174. Um, and this, this is the same flight, so this should be valid. Um, you should have no issues if you buy this flight. So that's how to save money with LATAM. So let's look at Abiyanka for some equal levels of confusing flights. I'm going to pick Quito to Baltra, 23rd of March, search for flights. I have my COVID notice. Thank you. And okay, cheapest flight, $254, $927. I'm going to pick that one. And I get given one option, this $254 um, L. Okay, so proceed to check out. Instead of doing that, I'm going to go to 
Google Flights. I'm going to pick this same 927 flight on the 23rd of March and I click on that. Now here's the flight, Avianca. It doesn't mention anything about being Ecuador only, but it's shown as $115. That's a lot cheaper. Why is this? So here it is again. Yeah, $114. I'm getting really excited now. Why is it $114? The other one's $250. I don't know. I do know. <laughs> uh, so here now we've got three options. So here's that $114 flight. And then this L flight is $209. Now, if you remember back, that is actually the same flight that shows us $254 when we went direct. Now, all I've done is go through Google Flights and we get this uh, much cheaper, $50 cheaper, basically, 209 L option. And then there's these other two options. Now, some of them do have things that, you, you know, differences, there's less luggage and things like that. But um, effectively, there's no explanation saying you can't buy these flights. However, it does appear that they want you to buy this L flight if you're not in Ecuador. So it's, it's a risk you could buy one of these other flights, but there's potential that you may get charged the uh, $150 plus tax that's mentioned on the LATAM site. Um, so it's a risk that's up to you whether you want to take it or not. And, and that's it really, that's how the flights work, as bizarre as they are, and how you can save money. So no matter what you do, there's some options here to save yourself some money. It's worth also mentioning, if you look back at Google Flights, so with flights like Momondo and various other sites, they give you these alternative uh, companies to choose from. Here it's got a book with e Destinados, of course, well known e Destinados, uh, and it's uh, $113. So it's the cheaper flight option, but when I click on it, and I'm going to go in English again. Dun, 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 dun. There's no real mention of what this flight is. So there's no mention of this M, S, or L. So booking through these sites with not rather than directly um, through the Avianca or Latin websites, you run the risk of buying the incorrect flight. So we'd recommend actually, no matter how you do it, buying it through the actual LATAM or Avianca websites to avoid potential things like that. I hope that it was useful. And you can save some money. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to not miss any exciting new videos. Okay, guys. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.